Now to an exclusive story you will only see right here on Fox 5. Well, it's hard to think of anything more heart-wrenching than a child battling cancer. And almost anyone would pitch in to help those kids. But how can a good gesture turn out to into a fiasco? Fox 5's John Deutzman has an amazing story of good intentions gone bad. You don't turn it off right now, I'm calling the police right now. Okay, you want to see me do it? Oh, we're, still, camera. we're not shutting off the camera we're on a sidewalk. Come all on, right? get out of here. Things what sure got nasty when we were checking out a seemingly kind-hearted radio ad for a charity you can donate your car to. Donated to ACI Children's Center for Diabetes and Cancer Research. Wallace Mobley heard the ad and had an old clunker of a car. So he thought he'd donate it to what sounded like something special. The satisfaction of knowing your donation is helping in the research to help find a cure for children suffering from cancer and diabetes. When we checked the website for this charity, it said Cancer Research Center, with pictures of kids apparently battling cancer. Cancer is personal for Wallace. He has family members fighting it and lost his dad to it. And children's cancer, that's a pretty good cause, right? Very much so. Wallace hoped the charity could at least use his 93 Subaru for parts. It had more than 170,000 miles on it. He said the odometer, speedometer, and gas gauge didn't work. So Wallace called and these guys from the charity showed up and took the car away. I was given assurance that I had a tax credit of $2,700. But surprisingly, within a few hours, this car with lots of things broken was being sold on the internet on Craigslist. The ad clearly says, runs and looks great. Everything works. This is the first time I've ever bought a used car. This young guy, Zach Korn, was unlucky enough to buy it in a street deal for 1300 bucks. Well, as soon as I drove away, I noticed that the speedometer didn't work, the odometer didn't work, the gas gauge didn't work. He says the guy he bought the car from refused to give his money back. Oh, he was threatening me. He was, uh, you know, just trying to be as intimidating as possible. So how could this car donated in good faith to a charity wind up immediately in a slimy used car deal? Well, here's where things get interesting. You see, we really could never find a children's center for diabetes and cancer research. Our search sure took us to some weird places. The address on their stationery is a building with a demolition business and auto repair shop in Brooklyn. No, he moved. The legal address listed at the Attorney General's office is this house in Livingston, New Jersey. And the office address they are using in Manhattan... Is this the uh, children's cancer... ...is a part-time office space that anyone can rent. But we finally learned the donated cars went to this Brooklyn address where we found a tow truck company and an angry tow guy. You don't turn it off right now, I'm calling the police right now. All we wanted to do was talk to the man in charge of the donated cars, some guy named Steve Ashley. It was like looking for the Wizard of Oz. Where's Steve Ashley? You don't know, I don't who, know Steve who Steve Ashley is? Come on, is. guys. Oh, Where's Steve? Camera. We're not shutting off the camera. We're on the sidewalk. Come all on, right? get out of here. What, what is the problem? If this is such a lovely charity for cancer, what's yes. the problem? This is a towing company. company. That's it. Where's Steve Ashley? Can that somebody... Know. Nobody... You don't know the name of the guy. You never heard Steve Ashley. This looks like a legit operation. Then, moments later, things change. Okay, John, right. you want to speak to Ashley? Yeah. Turn the mic off. Turn the camera off. All of a sudden, now you know Ashley. You didn't know him before, this? now you know him. They still insisted he wasn't here. This is where Ashley is. I know no, where he's no, here. He's not here. Oh, he's not here? Where is he then? He's not here. You guys, you knew him, then you don't. He's like the magical man. Then, just like the wizard himself, the mysterious Steve Ashley emerges from the very same building he was not supposed to be at. We understand this is a problem with a Subaru. Ashley apologized and claimed the guy who stuck Zach with the broken car has nothing to do with the charity and somehow got the car free from the tow company because they considered it junk. But to avoid bad feelings... We're willing to help. Not a problem. The charity immediately wrote a check and Zach got his money back for the dirty deal. Later at the charity's part-time office, we talked to the head of the whole charity, a man named Michael Gittlemaker, about the fiasco. You understand, when you, when you donate to uh, something as heart-wrenching as childhood cancer and then the money doesn't go there, that's a problem. I'm sorry, when you donate a junk car for which you're going to get tickets because you need to repark it, what you are doing is really, well, we're doing you a service, we're picking it up and taking it to the junkyard. Back at the car donation headquarters. Does this stuff really go for kids' cancer research? Absolutely. But the head of the charity admits that out of every dollar collected, only about five cents goes to research. 
He says his nonprofit organization, which is really called the American Commercialization Institute, takes in between 600,000 and a million a year on the donated cars. The ad is for children's cancer research mm -hmm. and diabetes. Yes. People believe that's what they're donating to. Right. And only like 5% of the money goes to that. Isn't that a little deceptive? Well, it's not deceptive because I don't take a salary. No officers and no directors in the organization take a salary. So uh, where does all the money go? The money he claims to most of it pays for those radio ads. Plus the satisfaction of knowing your donation is helping in the research to help find a cure for children suffering from cancer and diabetes. As for those suffering kids, we were shown two checks dated more than a month ago, totaling 40000 bucks that are supposedly going to be donated to projects for early cancer detection and pain research, which indirectly might help kids with cancer someday. So what does Wallace, the guy who donated the car in the first place, have to say about all this? Well, uh, I hope everything is up and up because of my sincere donation. You know, this charity goes back to 2003, but with the exception of those checks that the head of the charity yanked out during the middle of our investigation, he has not provided any evidence that he donated one penny to research prior to those checks, although he insists he's donated thousands. I'm John Dutzman, Fox 5 News. And get this, because the paperwork is all messed up, Wallace could have gotten in trouble with the IRS claiming a deduction for that donation of that car.